segment two in our town neighborhood news magazine, a presentation of Sonny Hirsch and myself. Check us out on YouTube at ntnm.org, caps24.org for community policing. And speaking of community, uh, we get more guests these days from Rogers Park than West Rogers Park, and that's due to the wonderful Alderman State Senator here. But it is a pleasure. We are, we're very 49th Ward friendly right now, guys, so feel free to come to me and ask to be on the show. Uh, it is a pleasure to have the Chief Cook and Bottle Washer of the Rogers Park Chamber of Commerce, Bill Morton. Bill, Thank how are you, you doing? Doing fine. Thank you. And how's the Chamber doing? Chamber is doing great. We're... Um, by the time this airs, we would have had our five-year anniversary. Mazel tov. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, we're we're celebrating all year long. This is this is a real uh, benchmark for us. Um, we now have thirty members, and we're we're doing great. very well. And and the word has really gotten out, and we're really benefiting our members well. No, that's terrific. I listen. I remember when it was just a handful. I remember it was like mm -hmm. five the first time. Yeah. And. Uh, who, who could have thought 30? No, I think that's great. And listen, I think you'll continue to grow over the years. I mean, you, I know how much effort you put into this. Thank you. Yes, uh, every day. Yeah, that's for sure. Now, um, do, do, do you have regular meetings? I mean, how, how does the chamber work? Well, we have regular board meetings once a month. Yeah. Um, and our membership is invited to that. And we make our decisions and, and we do our voting um, during those meetings. Uh, but we also have uh, many events uh, in between, uh, usually one or two a month. Mm -hmm. And uh, a recent one was with uh, Nate Clay from WLS. It was a meet and greet over at Pete's Grill. And that was, that was pretty cool. Actually, we had a lot of people come out. A lot of people uh, bought hot dogs and beefs. And, and we all just had a good time over there. And um, we had a, a couple other events. And they're, just, they're networking events mostly. And they're at our local businesses so that people can walk in through the front door. And when they want to meet with a friend or meet for a meeting, they will know where they can go. And um, it will it brings more business to the businesses. Very cool. And, yeah, people you actually get to see the inside of the shop. It makes a lot of sense. Are there any trends right now in business in Rogers Park? Are certain things doing well? Are certain things doing poorly? Uh, how are vacancies? I mean, what is the mm -hmm. business climate over there? Well, we have less vacancies now. Uh, more of the storefronts are being taken right now, which is which is awesome. You can't say that anything. It's it's perfect. It's really growing, um, and some of our businesses are actually expanding. Uh, Flats and Sharp Music is expanding to a second location. Wow! And that that's in Norwood Park, and we'd like to congratulate uh, Chris Bell about that. She's she's doing an excellent job. Um, Dominic's closed, and we've got a Jewel Osco now. And uh, we've been working very hard to welcome them um, into town, and we're we're thankful that they chose Rogers Park. No, I think it'll be very good for the area there. Plus, I like to shop at Romanian Kosher at Tui and Clark, <laughs> so it's a short hop and jump to the jewel over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, no, that works out very nicely for me. Um, you know what? I do look at DNA Info, and, you know, I don't know how much to take from it. Even Even though the guys are good writers, it seems like... Every time somebody opens up a new restaurant or, or a pub type thing, they're mm -hmm. always covering it. Right. Is that reflective of, of the kind of businesses that are opening, or are they just taking a very small sample? Well, there are, there are businesses that are not covering that are opening. There are a lot of businesses opening. Um, you know, this little area of uh, Devon, uh, just uh, west of Sheridan, is really rising up. There's a new bakery there. Uh, there's a new business called Audio Archaeology that we just attended the grand opening for, and they're doing very well. They sold a, a large stereo system on the first day, and, nice. and they're, they're doing good. I, th I think that, you know, uh, Quest Network Services, our first member to join, and, and the inspiration for forming the chamber, um, they are having their 20-year anniversary. Nice. So I'd say all in all, we're doing pretty well. No, it sounds like it to me, and uh, that's for sure. Now that's not the only thing you're involved in, though. <laughs> oh no, I'm involved in uh, a lot of uh, a lot of things in our community. Now, one of the things I saw, and I, this was also, and I'm not trying to plug DNA info. Uh, uh, you know, it, it's it's an interesting site. It's it, it's not all inclusive for the neighborhood by any means. Uh, but you're um, what is it? The the head of the district advisory committee for Willie White Park. Uh, president of the Willie B White Park Advisory Council. And, of course, Willie White Park is the park that's north of Howard. Yes, Howard and Ashland, 1610 West Howard. 
Yeah, we had our national night out there about uh, five, six years ago, something like that. That's where we first met. Oh, okay. I didn't yeah. know that. I didn't. That's right. I went to all the different booths to interview people. Mm -hmm. You're right. And <laughs> the chamber was there, and that was our. That was actually our first event that we attended as the chamber. Wow. Yeah, that was. Um, that was definitely a very good event. There's. I mean, now they're confining it to individual beats. I, I happen to be a fan of that because the, the beats need some individual identity. But when, well, also Eva McCann, who um, ran that, mm -hmm. there aren't people willing to put in time the way she was for that event. I mean, she basically dropped about eight months of her life putting that together. She did an excellent job on that. And she is the current, well, she's the founder of the Willie B. White Park Advisory Council. She's our uh, current um, secretary of the council. And uh, she is a community leader. No, definitely. She also ran her cap speed for a number of years. Mm -hmm. So no, she she's definitely an all-around good person. Um, <clears throat> so how are how's the situation over at the park right now? Well, we we're having a little issue uh, with security. They cut our security guard. Um, we don't expect. By the way, you and the whole city. Well, there are some parks that do have the security guards. In Rogers Park, in particular, uh, that we know of. Uh, Willie B. White Park and Potawatomi Park uh, lost their security guards and you know it's very important to have them. While, while the Chicago police are patrolling and while they're in, in front of uh, the, the field houses, uh, the job of the security guard, the Chicago Park District Security, is to make sure that all that riffraff doesn't happen inside of the recreation center. The police will respond but we need a security guard uh, for prevention. No, it definitely helps. I mean, listen, the city has been in bad shape for a long time. And, um, you know, if they sell the parking meters one more time, I'm going to throw a rock at somebody. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, I don't know how the tailspin out of it. It's, uh, and not to mention the pension situation is going to come to a head sooner than later. And there's already some talk about the federal government and the Supreme Court actually um, giving states outs for bankruptcy for these sort of situations. Mm -hmm. So um, that's really dictating where a lot of the money is going, and it's a shame it's not. Things were going so well. There was money being pumped into neighborhoods. Um, there were services in neighborhoods, and they're all fizzling away. And even, even simple things like just the graffiti blasters. Mm -hmm. when, when you wipe the graffiti away, you're telling the gang guy, hey, we're right on top of things. And the same thing with the security guard. Yeah, keep people away from there. Absolutely. It's kind of like the, the broken window theory. You, you got to keep up with it and you got to be um, you know, quick on it to, to prevent crime and to send a message that we're not going to take in our neighborhood. No, absolutely. And, and, you know, if you respond that way, the gangbangers see that and they will have less of a presence, if any presence. I mean, somebody else is going to try to move in. Everybody's buying drugs these days. And I don't mean the kind that get over a target, <laughs> <laughs> but you know it's uh, it's true. If you if you, if people are willing to stand up, and I've seen this through Kips, if people are willing to stand up and make their presence felt, and you don't do it alone, you do it in a group, you do it with police cooperation, um, you can make a real difference in things. And and one of the officers uh, along Howard Street, Officer Bob Dvorak. Oh, I know him. He is he is wonderful. He is shaking hands. He is meeting with the community. He's stopping into businesses. He's, he's, he's parked his van in front of the, the, the field house while we don't have a security guard. He's, he's done a great job. I just want to recognize that. Bob is a great guy, and I'm glad you mentioned him. He, he, he spent a brief period of time in community policing, and that's when I got to know him. Mm -hmm. And, uh, no, he's really an outstanding officer and a real credit to the Chicago Police Department, and we need more officers like that, that's for sure. Yes. So, if people want to contact you on any one of 47 different levels. <laughs> <laughs> well, for the Rogers Park Chamber of Commerce, uh, the number is 773-850-0049. And our website is rogerspark.cc. Now, um, and, and Willie White, if people want to get involved in that? If they want to get involved with it, we meet on the third Tuesday of the month at the Field House at 7 p.m. And by the way, you don't usually talk about it, but you have your own businesses you run. I do. <laughs> I, I have a business. It's called Bill Morton Promotions. Yeah. I do uh, radio promotion. I do business services. Um, and I also do uh, search engine optimization, getting your name higher on Google, and, you know, uh, things around that. Very cool. I want to thank you very much, Bill Morton. Thank you. Um, Chief Cook and Bottle Washer, Rogers Park Chamber of Commerce. I want to thank my entire tech crew, Sonny Hirsch. I want to thank all of you for joining us today, and bye-bye.